I welcome you all. In this video, we will see the construction of hypocycloid. First, we will see the definition of hypocycloid. Next, we will see how to measure the angular dimensions. Lastly, we will see the construction of hypocycloid. So the question is taken from Anna University January 2018 question paper. The question reads, a circle of diameter 50 mm rolls along the inside of another circle of diameter 200 mm without slipping. Draw the path traced by a point on the smaller circle. Draw a tangent and a normal at a point on the curve. So definition of hypocycloid. A hypocycloid is a curve generated by a point on the circumference of a circle that rolls along the inside of another circle without slipping. The new terms used are the rolling circle is called the generating circle. The fixed circle along which it rolls is called the directing circle or base circle. Point A may be called the generating point. Given data, rolling circle diameter is 50 mm and base circle diameter is 200 mm. So now, if you have an arc of the bigger radius, that is radius is 100 mm. Inside this arc of radius 100 mm, if I have a smaller circle of diameter 50 mm or radius 25 mm, if this circle rolls one complete revolution, what happens is the point A will move outwards when it rolls for half the revolution. Then again after half the revolution it moves inside. After one complete revolution the point A again comes back and touches the bigger arc. So this path traced by the point A is called as hypocycloid. So in this video we will see how to construct hypocycloid in step by step method. So next we will see how to measure the angular dimensions. The given data capital R equal to 100 mm. The radius of the bigger circle is 100 mm and small r equal to 25 mm the radius of the smaller circle. Now if I draw an arc of radius 100 mm inside this suppose I draw a smaller circle. If this smaller circle rolls one complete revolution the point A will again come back and touches the arc of the bigger radius at the point A here. So A to A length is the circumference length of the smaller circle. A A equal to 2 pi r equal to 157.07 millimeter. We cannot measure 157.07 millimeters for an arc length. Therefore, we go for angular measurement. Suppose now we have the center point of the bigger circle. Join that with the point A and again the same center point join that with another point A here. The angle included can be calculated by a formula r theta equal to 2 pi r. So here if r theta equal to 2 pi r, theta is equal to 2 pi r by capital R. Therefore theta is equal to 2 into 180 degrees into 25 by 100. So therefore theta is equal to 90 degrees. So therefore without measuring the length a a equal to 2 pi r, I can easily locate the point A if I know the angular dimension theta is equal to 90 degrees. So with this basic knowledge let us now start the construction of hypocycloid in step by step method. Take A3 sheet, draw margin on all four corners. Write the question number 1A. In the right bottom corner write all dimensions are in millimeter. Whatever dimensions we are going to draw, it will be in millimeters. The given data is capital R equal to 100 mm, small r equal to 25 mm. 
Now locate a point here, point C, center point C. Draw a horizontal line through C, a thin line. Now take a compass, measure radius 100 mm. Now center point as C, radius 100 mm, draw an arc. Now join the point C with any one point on the arc. Mark that point as point A. From this point A, take a scale, measure 25 millimeters, locate the point O. Now here AO length is equal to 25 millimeters. Take a compass, center point as O, radius OA that is 25 millimeter, draw a circle, complete circle. Now, we know the calculation how to measure the point A, A length, R theta equal to 2 pi R, therefore theta is equal to 2 pi R by R, theta is equal to 2 into 180 degrees in 25 by 100, therefore theta is equal to 90 degrees. Instead of measuring the length 2 pi R, we go for angular measurement, theta is equal to 90 degrees. Take a protractor, keep the protractor on the line C O A line, reference point as C. I again repeat, take a protractor, keep the protractor reference point as C and the line must be C O A line, reference line is C O A line, reference point is C, measure 90 degrees and draw a line joining the arc on another point A. Therefore, here A A length, arc length is equal to the circumference of the smaller circle because we cannot measure A A using a scale. We go for angular measurement. Theta is equal to 90 degrees. Now, here A A is equal to 2 pi r length. Now, from again point A, take a scale, measure 25 millimeter, locate the point O. Take a compass, center point as O, radius OA, that is radius is equal to 25 millimeter, draw a complete circle. Now, we have drawn the initial position of the circle and also the final position of the circle. The point A was touching the arc earlier. After one complete revolution, the point A is touching the arc on the other side of the arc. Okay. Now, we must have to locate some more points such that I can draw a smooth hypocycloid. We can go for 8 points or 12 points. So because to get a smooth curve, it is always better to go for 12 points. Therefore, divide the circle into 12 equal parts and divide the angle 90 degrees into 12 equal parts. So here, draw a perpendicular line, take a protractor, draw a perpendicular line through O this line is perpendicular to OA. So therefore, keep your protractor on OA line, reference point as O, draw a perpendicular line. Mark the two end points where this line touches the circumference of the circle. Now, again take a protractor, keep that protractor on that perpendicular line and reference point as O, measure 30 degree angular points because 360 by 12 is 30 degrees. Therefore, keep your protractor on the perpendicular line, reference point as O, measure 30 degrees, 60 degrees, 90 is there, 120, 150 and 180 is there. So, therefore, using protractor, I have marked 30 degree angular point, 60 degree angular point, 90 degree angular point, 120 degree angular point, 150 degree angular point and 180 degree angular point. So, from here onwards, take a scale, join the 30 degree angular point with center point O, extend it. This line cuts the circumference on the other side, mark that point. Similarly, from the 60 degree angular point, take a scale, join that point with O, extend it. It cuts the circumference of the circle on the other end, mark that point. Similarly, from 120 degree angular point, join O, extend it, it meets circumference at other end, 
So, this point is again marked. Lastly, the 150 degree angle point is taken. Take a scale, join that with O, extend it. It cuts the circumference on other end. Mark that point. Now, you have to give lettering to all the 12 points. So, from A, I will start in clockwise direction. Point number 1, point number 2, point number 3, point number 4, point number 5, point number 6, point number 7, point number 8, point number 9, point number 10, point number 11 and the point A. So, thereby I have divided the smaller circle into 12 equal parts. Because I have chosen to go for 12 points, also divide the angle into 12 equal parts. Before dividing that, let us now again take a compass. Center point is C, radius CO length. I again repeat, take a compass, center point as C, radius CO, draw an arc from O to O. Draw a arc from O to O. Now, after drawing this arc, divide the angle into 12 equal parts. 90 by 12 is 7.5 degrees. Correct? Therefore, again take a compass, keep the compass on the line C O A line, reference point is C. Now, using the protractor, measure 7.5 degrees, draw a line. This line cuts the center arc at O1. Again, same protractor, measure 15 degrees, draw a line. This line cuts the center arc at O2, center point O2. Okay. Similarly, take an angle 22.5 degrees and draw a line. It cuts a center arc at O3. Again, take an angle 30 degrees. This line cuts a center arc at O4. Again, take 37.5 degrees. Draw the line. It cuts the center arc at point O5. Take 45 degrees. Draw a line. This line cuts the center arc at O6. Then again take 52.5 degrees. This line cuts the arc at O7. Take 60 degrees. This line cuts the center arc at O8. Next measure an angle equal to 67.5 degrees. Draw a line. This line cuts the center arc at the point O9. Again take an angle or measurement of 75 degrees. Draw a line. This line cuts the center arc at the point O10. Next, take an angle equal to 82.5 degrees. This line cuts the center arc at the point O11 and the last point is center O. So, here we have divided the angle into 12 equal parts and we have got 12 center points O1, O2, O3, O4, O5, O6, O7, O8, O9, O10, O11 and the point O. So, do not uh, you know, just like that draw it, write neatly because these are the points which will be useful to complete the problem in the last stage. Now, take a compass with center point as C and radius C6, draw an arc. So, this particular arc goes and meets the other side of the another circle. Okay. Again, take the same compass and radius C7, C7 radius, draw an arc. This arc also meets the point 5 and uh, just see that the arc is completed and this arc goes and touches the other side of the second circle. Okay. Similarly, same center point C, radius C8, draw an arc. This arc through 8 also touches the point 4. Next, point, center point is C and radius C9, draw an arc. This arc also touches the point 3. So, 9 and 3. If I draw the arc through 9, it also passes through 3. Okay. Next one, center point is C. Radius C10, draw an arc, it passes through 2. Next, center point is C and radius C11, draw an arc. Now, you can just see, I have drawn the arc such that the arc is touching the circumference of the second circle. So, complete that because you may require that length for the later stage. Okay. After drawing the concentric arcs here, now take a compass, measure radius of the smaller circle. It is given radius of the smaller circle is 25 millimeter. So, take a compass, measure radius equal to 25 millimeter. Now, 
keep the compass on center point O1. Cut the concentric arc passing through 1 at point A1. Similarly, center point as O2, same radius 25 millimeter. Cut the concentric arc passing through 2. The cutting point is A2. Similarly, center point is O3, radius 25 millimeter. Cut the third arc, the arc passing through point number 3. Draw an arc. It cuts the arc at the point A3. Similarly, from O4 as center point, cut the concentric arc passing through 4 at point A4. Similarly, center point as O5, radius 25 millimeter, cut the concentric arc passing through 5, the cutting point is A5. Similarly, center point is O6, radius 25 millimeter, cut an arc on the concentric arc passing through 6, mark the point as A6. Similarly, center point as O7 and radius 25 millimeter, cut the concentric arc passing through 7 at point number A7. And uh, again, center point as O8, cut the concentric arc passing through 8 at the point A8. Center point as O9, cut the concentric arc passing through 9 at the point a9, center point as O10, cut the concentric arc passing through 10 at point number A10, center point as O11, radius 25 millimeter, cut the concentric arc passing through 11 at point A11. Now the last point is A. Now here we have got the points A1, A2, A3, A4, A5, A6, A7, a8, A9, A10, A11 and A. If you join all these points by the smooth curve, that curve is called as hypocycloid. So, first we must have to join all these points using thin lines. So, see here, I have joined all these points by a thin line. So, this curve is now smooth and this curve is called as hypocycloid. Once we understand that the drawing is complete, take the HB pencil and draw this curve in dark lines. So, this arc drawn is called as hypocycloid. The second part of the question is to draw the normal and tangent to any point on the curve. So, let me first mark a point on this particular curve. So, let me mark the point P here. To this point P, we have to draw the normal and tangent. So, again take a compass, center point as P, radius 25 millimeter. Cut an arc on the center arc line. So, mark this point as point E. Now, after marking the point E on the center arc line, join C and E by a straight line using a scale and extend it till the bigger radius. Mark that point as N. Join N and P by a straight line. This line NP is called as normal. Take a protractor. To this NP line, draw the perpendicular line. This line is marked as M. PM is tangent and NP is normal. So, we have drawn both the hypocycloid, normal and tangent to any point on the curve. Now, lastly, the dimensions. The dimension of the smaller circle is diameter 50 mm. If you do not show this dimension, you may lose some marks. And also you must write here what is the name of the curve. The name of the curve is hypocycloid. I hope you are clear with the uh, solution. Thank you. Welcome you all.